We were directed to an official looking booth by a staff member where we were told to check in, reserving our goodie bags. You got a lot of free stuff when you're a celebrity, apparently. I do know that. Before we left, a lady behind the booth presented Bew with a golden AMP statuette. We all stared at him as he took it in his hands and admired it. What the hell, Bew? Why do you have an AMP award? It's mine. He was five stars at the AMP Awards. <laughs> Best piano performance. He wasn't even playing the piano. Oh, that invalidates the award somewhat. If, they, if the judges couldn't tell the difference between a keyboard and piano. Oh, you got an award at the pre-telecast? Yes, best alternative piano performance. I'm hardly going crazy over that. You won something already? I walked up to him and slapped him hard on the shoulder. Why didn't you tell us you won an award? Are you jealous? Very! You shouldn't be. Bew looked over at the beef. The staff lady was holding out another statuette. I looked at Bew, then back at the award, then back at Bew. You just stare at me, take your award. My award? I delicately took the golden amp from the woman and she gave me a congratulations. I brought the nameplate to my face and read my name over and over. Best female alternative performance, Robin Gilly Mia. <laughs> best female? I was hoping for best guitarist or something. I guess one of the best weird guitarists ever is a... I don't know. There aren't many women in rock, from what I'm listening to. I guess we beat something. You won the award too. I appreciate you don't want to be Sonic anymore, but maybe you've got a bit too overboard. I suddenly remembered that there was a world around me. I gripped the statuette and looked at Emmett and Dallas's warm faces. Do they count as real awards, though? I mean, we didn't get to go up and, like, write a speech and shit. I earned this. I was recognised for something in Bew. I looked over at him, his eyes round and soft. Bew helped me do it. This is your fault, you know. I know. He leaned down to me and we kissed right in front of everybody. You guys, you said you wouldn't. I think they earned at least a little. I, okay, knock it off now, guys. We laughed and broke apart. Shut up. Once you win something, then you can tell me what to do. <laughs> wow. So, could everyone have potentially have won an AMP award? Hmm, I wonder. I only hoped that it wouldn't go home alone. We left the lobby in the last of the hassling, only to... Only thing to do now is to sit back and enjoy the beginning of the show. The arena where the awards were taking place didn't look like an arena tonight. It looked like an... an historical? <laughs> a historical theatre! Even if the floor gave it away, as a hockey rink. It's an ice rink? Oh, Jesus, I wonder how many Jennifer Lawrence's slipping up there's gonna be. We were shown our seats by an usher after a process of getting checked in with the staff. We were seated not terribly close to the stage, but not under some balcony or anything. And there were our four seats. We each sat down, Bew next to me. I marvelled at all the celebrities around us, looking at the big names sitting right next to us. Bew made light conversation with the people in front of us. But my thoughts inevitably drifted back to why we were there. If we deserved to be, if we would win anything, how our performance was going to go, if Sterling was alright. I was suddenly standing. I need some air, I'll be right back. I walked back into the opening reception to see if there was anywhere we to get a drink. Oh, this is Joel and... Sprites were done in 2008. Let's just pretend that Sprite doesn't exist. I instead found two people that had been haunting me for years. Joel and Natasha were arguing with the staff. I tensed up and stopped where I was. Did I want them to see me? Of course not. What do you mean scrapped? We we rehearsed and everything. Ma'am, I just work here. Someone should have contacted your manager and informed you. Instead of getting angry, her and Joel just looked dejected and heartbroken. So everything, it's over? The staff apologised but asked them to stand aside for other guests, but they didn't move immediately and I couldn't just stand there anymore. I approached them. Slowly. Very slowly. I was practically nervous, but these people used to be my friends. We used to be so cool around one another. Cool? With that sweater? I'm not sold, I'll be honest with you. Um, 
I spoke without thinking, they suddenly looked at me. Hi. They didn't say anything for a while, just looked at each other and shifted uncomfortably. Hey. I guess... You're not... I guess not. They worked hard to get here, too. They worked as hard as me, and under Sterling... I knew they possibly worked even harder, but they were cast aside. The weight of everything finally hit me like a tube filled with concrete. This was the goddamn day MP Awards, the place that we, Natasha, Joel, me, and everyone had laughed and dreamed about. These people had been my friends. They were my friends. I am so sorry. I meant what I said, and for once they believed me. The roar of the crowd seemed to silence as we traded timid looks, trying to express how stupid we felt everything the past few years had been. The business of music nearly destroyed it for us. When we were kids, I knew we all swore that we'd never let it come to that. We just wanted to be musicians and give it to the world. We just wanted to get messed up and hang out together. Together, not the each other's throats. I'm... I'm happy for you and whatever. You're... too kind? I guess so you can see her weird expression. I'll put myself there for the net time being. She smirked and wiped at one of her eyes. We all forced a chuckle and to release the tension. The knot in my stomach relaxed as I hailed. Why didn't that work? There we go. I admit I'm sort of relieved. I didn't want to uh, compete with you guys up there on the stage, really. Natasha laughed. Yeah, yeah, me neither. Same here. I'm glad you called it off. What Launch and the committee were trying to do. When I heard you dropped, I was so relieved. I don't think we would have gone through with it anyway. Maybe in the beginning when we were all still uh, angry. Angry at me like I was angry at them. I sucked on my lower lip in the awkward silence. The warning bell signalled once again and the staff urged everyone to take their seats. I'll... They both looked at me and I felt like they were truly looking at me for the first time in a long time. I'm going to rock this damn stadium hard enough for both of our bands if it's any consolation. They smiled painfully and we eventually said goodbye. I had left to get some air, but I somehow came back to my seat the cleanest I had ever felt. I got back just before someone was paid to fill it for me. Cameras whirled around the stage, the lights powered on, the sound buzzed to life. The show was starting. I still feel something's going to go wrong here, you know. It, there are too many good things. There's too many up and good things. And we thought about Sterling there for a second. And everything always leads to something eventually. Welcome to the 23rd Amer Annual American Music Performance Awards. Applause? I was starting to sweat. The stage was paraded with dancers for an opening act. I could feel my heartbeat in every part of my body. I don't know who that is. I'm hoping it's not Chris Martin. You know, we don't want there to be someone smacking someone quite yet. You'd have to if there was Chris Martin on the stage. Come on. After a short while, the host came up to a podium to the podium and smiled. He waited for the applause to die down before starting his opening speech. At this point, it was all a blur to me. <laughs> we weren't listening. The most important thing ever. No. I wasn't listening to a thing he was saying, but instead repeating how this was real in my head, looking around at everything around me. Before I knew it, half the show was gone. Record of the Year is an award recognising a single that has demonstrated musical excellence. We released one of those. We released it, like, I don't know, like a month ago, and it sold really well. If you've turned on the radio in the last year, you've probably heard this song. The year's nominees for the record of the year are for... Put me down slightly. Cherry Lips by Nomad. I lied. We'll put myself over there. Turtles don't win. Rabbits are just lazy. What? <laughs> the fuck is the moral of that song? Be a badger? Undeniably mistaken by the leather crew. <laughs> oh god, sorry, I thought... Oh no! <laughs> oh, sorry, you were there in leather, I couldn't see your face. I thought you were Jane. I'm really sorry. Fresh by Deliverance. Uh, that's one of those delight sort of songs during the 90s. The winner is... We're not in either of these, so what do I care? Undeniably mistaken. Song about BDSM confusion. I applauded politely, but for some reason my body was going numb. Why was I so frightened? The next award? Album of the Year. Now this also sold quite a lot. Is awarded to a brilliant collection of songs that moved an entire nation. Any musician can tell you that creating the perfect album is a perfect is a great challenge. However, the recipients of this award seem to have it mastered. Nominees are On Our Own 
Orbit of Overgrown. Is that a euphemism for not having shaved in a while? Outcast, the Nova Clan. The Nova Clan? If you're going to call yourself the Nova Clan, you have to expect to be outcast. That's us. Three, six, five days without you. Hi-fi sky. Did they just give up when naming their band? I mean, you know, pot, kettle, black and all, but come on. The winner is... We win! Hooray! We're geniuses! Album of the year. One of your albums was the best. I sucked in a sharp breath. Yes, that was, he said. Emmett sprang out of his seat and cheered. Bew offered me a hand to stand up, I think. Let's go, let's go! I'd almost forgot to get up and accept the award. My mind was already thinking about the future and the past. I wobbled from my seat since I was now shaking. The audience applauded us as well as our competition. Fuck your competition. We're better than you, you pieces of... Oh, no, wait. No, no, be gracious. Yes, no, their, their albums were very good as well. Their albums were very good. Yes, very good. Oh, I listened to them all. I listened to them all. Hi-Fi Sky. Love your stuff. Fucking change your name, though. When we walked down the carpet's aisle to the stage, TV cameras flew around trying to get a good close-up. Our winning material blasted through the speakers. <laughs> uh, angst! The stage got brighter. The light hurt my eyes. My heart, it was pounding in my ears. We stepped up onto the stage and the host smiled at us. He presented the golden AMP statue to me. Congratulations. It felt heavier than I would have expected. Shit, I could hardly breathe. The clapping was dying down. We were being herded to the podium. Podium for a speech? The person with the award in their hands usually does the damn speech. Ah. I turned around to the other guys and tried to hand them the award, but no one was taking it away from me. Speech me? You looked like he was good at these sort of things. Okay, I could do this. I'm sure I had made one up once in my lifetime, but anything besides this one moment was a total blank. The whole arena was dead silent. Yes, they wanted me to say something. You can do it. I looked up at Bew. My speech would have to be worthy of him. I gripped the award statue tighter. It was slick with my sweat now, and the corners were oddly sharp. Ouch. Uh... Wow, I was actually shivering. Even my voice was shaking. Thanks. Thanks for everyone. Thanks for this. Thanks for everything. Thank yous was standard. That should be good enough material. Thank you, Owen, for being a brother. Tracy for letting us wreck your bar. Sophia. <laughs> Look, it's been a miracle no one has found you working there. Saying shit like that is going to get you caught. Sophia for letting us get a foot in the door. Our producers for making us sound good. Our fans for sticking through us with all the shit. Fuck, can I say shit on live TV? The audience laughed, but somewhere a TV executive was cursing my name. You probably can't then, no. I took a deep breath and thought about who I really wanted to thank. Who got me here? Why was I a musician at all? I wanted to turn around and thank Emmett, Bew and Dallas. I wanted to thank them all each for doing this crazy music thing with me. For, and for just coming into my life at all. I'm as surprised as you are. But I'd never really seen band members thanking each other before. And I was supposed to be speaking for all of us, not just myself. And I want to thank Natasha and Joel. They couldn't be on this stage performing today. But they're no less responsible for who I am today. And... I could feel his name swell up in my throat. I could tell that everyone else felt it too. Sterling Stone blurted out, just like ripping off a band-aid. I'm still standing, even after it all. But you told me how to stand, I won't forget that. The audience clapped and I felt that I held the award up. I dedicate this to you, idiots. Expect to see Clap or we smite you on the stage again next year, shocker. You better be here, right here next to us. <laughs> Probably gonna retire after this bashing. But the overture started to drown me out, but I'd said enough. I shivered and tried to remember to breathe. <laughs> to breathe as we were escorted off the stage. The award was taken from me and we were all directed to a room to recuperate. I caught a tear slipping down my cheek and I silently hoped that I was the only one. That was awesome! You did very well out there. But hey, you dedicated our award to shock a millennium? What gives? Uh, I don't know, it just felt right. I stopped caring about a ton of crap out there. I was just focusing on breathing. That was rather unexpected of you. <laughs> Great, so he's... <laughs> Bew is rather unapproving of our choice, but there's good music, so that must mean it's a good decision. But it was the right thing to do. There we are, one of us agrees with us. But uh, about that other thing you said, what other thing? Clap will we smite you, your act is 15 minutes away. This way to the changing rooms, please. 
Oh crap, I forgot about the performance. How was I going to sing in this condition? I laughed and held my chest just to feel my heart beat. No, this was the perfect time to sing. I was about to follow the stage manager to the dressing rooms, but our label agent intercepted me. Oh god, what does he want? My favourite singer of my favourite band. I bet you don't even know what our album's called, even though it was mentioned ten minutes ago. Of course we were his favourite after just winning that award, but I doubt he'll ever truly mean those words, no matter what we'd win. Outstanding! Everyone at launch is talking about you and clap <laughs> you and clap or we smite you. I could have done without the publicity stunt, but that's nothing we can't fix. Excuse me? Publicity stunt? Yes, trying to make peace with your rivals. Not to worry, the other reps and I will make sure that the feud continues. What? What? No! It's not personal, it's just business. Trust me, you want to keep it up. You got an AMP award because of it, and there's more where that came from. We got this award because we deserved it. Dominic laughed and I went ice cold. You have no idea how the committee works, do you? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I looked around for Bu, Emmett, or Dallas, anyone, but I was alone. You were supposed to be dueling with Shocker Millennium because that sells expensive ad space. This whole show is about business, Mucusic is about business. Look, with the amount that we talk, we can create a feud with someone fucking else. Don't you worry about that, Treacle. You're insane. Dominic was hurting me on purpose. He had to undermine our victory for some fucking reason. I'm afraid that anyone who thinks the AMPs are just about the celebration of music are the delusional ones here. No way, we worked hard for this. We were rewarded because of our talent, asshole. Truly, you think you can speak to me that way? Don't forget who got you here. Maybe everything he said was true. Maybe the AMPs were meaningless. Who is the real enemy here? Who really pit Shocker Millennium and Clap We Smite You against each other for the sake of selling a few commercials? Instead of trying to choose which was corrupt, I mentally dumped them both from my respect. Screw the AMPs then, and screw you. I know Clap We Smite You, I know us. His eyes raised slightly, I like that. And I know we'd make it anywhere without you or your committee. What attitude? Do you realize what you're saying? Yes, for launch to piss off with through. I make music because music is my life. People like you will never understand that. Dominic was seething, but so was I. Music was just business? Of course it was. Everything made sense now. You're aware that Launch Distribution owns the right to your entire band. Break contract and you'll have absolutely nothing. That was a huge decision to throw away everything we have done because of this. But this wasn't just a little disagreement. This was something that had been eating away at me ever since we first joined Launch. Maybe, I don't know, talk to your band before you do something like this. That's a good idea, Robin. Maybe not just go in head over heels. Is that how this is going to work? The game's going to end with us just leaving the music industry and... Everyone? Hmm, this doesn't quite sit right. We had to start clean, with the rivalry dissolved and an award in our hands, we could finally just chill out and make music we loved. That was such an appealing future, I wanted it so bad, it was worth the cost, I needed that future to be true. We won't have absolutely nothing, we've got more than anything Launch could ever give us. Self-respect, pride, happiness, friendship, music. Really fucking good music. Dominic glared at me, but I broke away. I rushed into the wings to find where my bandmates had gone. Luckily, stagehands were dime a dozen, and they practically stripped me down right there in the open to get me ready for our stage performance. They only gave us $5,000 a month! Maybe they did more things behind the scenes that we didn't notice, but game-wise, they did butter all other than give us $5,000, which gave us nothing. I didn't care, I was lost in my thoughts. How could I tell the guys that I just destroyed everything we made to get here? What are you doing here? Get dressed! Your band goes on after the break? The manager told me where to go and I finally reunited with the boys. I couldn't manage to smile for them. They had no real reaction when they saw me earlier. Their faces looked a bit upset, actually. Had they already heard the news of what I said to Dominic? He looked like he was about to cry, huh? What's with those faces? Nervous? Emt was about to open his mouth, but Dallas stepped in. Guys, I don't think now is the best time. I looked at both each of their faces. They were holding something back from me. Sterling was dead? Why else would they be crying? Something happened with you? What's wrong? What is it? Nope, you say We put this off for too long. We'll have to tell you at some point. We should have been honest and told her this a month ago. Tell me what? Are you guys keeping a secret from me? Oh, you reckon? I thought we all trusted each other. Dallas sighed and took a long moment to speak. Robin, I'm sorry, but this is our last show as a band. Right. They just stared at me. No, I heard him right. The band... 
I just quit our record label so that we could still be one. I quit because I wanted us to be together on our own terms. I quit because I thought we were still a band worth quitting for. But we were breaking up. But we... we just... We were gonna tell you, but you seem so happy. Yeah, funny that. Is it my fault? I can change? I'm really trying. Please just... If you guys didn't want to do this anymore, you should have just told me. Are you kidding? We want to keep rocking with you. Things just came up, Bobby. I have to go back home. Emmett's following his dad on tour. I spun around and faced Pew. Instinctively, I reached out and grabbed his shirt. He looked down at me, placing his hands over mine. I'm continuing my education. But you said... My voice raised again, warning me out of my weakness. Nothing has to change between us. I've only decided to stop ignoring my duty to my company. He's doing exactly what his mum wants. Exactly what he was rebelling against all this time. If he replaces his mother as CEO, we'll never be in a band again. The stage manager approached us blissfully unaware of what was going on. We're ready for you. Clap always my you to this stage, please, now. The guys turned to look at me. After what they just told me, how could I get out there and sing? There was plenty of furniture around to throw and break. I had a lot of curse words in my arsenal. There was a camera crew out there ready for me to use and abuse. But I only chose to walk away. It's a very Robin-esque thing to do. I chose the woman's restroom as my sanctuary. I splashed water on my face and stared at myself in the mirror. My makeup ran down my face. <sighs> Guys, you remember when I said that something had to be building and also to crush us like this? Because everything was going too well. Remember when I said everything in this game? It always leads to something. It's not just in there for the hell of it. Yeah, this. This is why. Well, the end is nigh, I guess. The next part has to be the end. Sucks it had to be like this. 